So when a spirit realizes that they're alone in their imagination, that's the Lucifer. Like you can either enjoy being alone or hate being alone. That's your soul. So your soul is your vibration. It's your polarity of feeling. Like that's where your intuition comes from. Like your soul is what powers you to connect with others as well as connect with yourself. And then the vibration is always going to show you that you can only connect with others as far as you connect with yourself. And that's the whole thing then of actually being way more about connecting with yourself than connecting with others. And this is Hermeticism. This is the wisdom of the Caduceus and bringing your S into your T. Because the alchemy of what happens when you bring your S into your T is that you build a tree which supports your ability to connect with other spirits. It supports your ability to facilitate connections and connect in general. Because snake, the S, being 19, one nine, right here we can see that the S, the snake, is all about seeing your imagination. So that one plus nine, the one is the singular fiery imagination, and the nine is a realized spirit. The nine is an I. As we know in dissect the dialect, especially I being the ninth letter of the alphabet. So I being nine is about the spirit realizing that it has an I, it's creating its own vibration. And once it realizes that, wanting to see its imagination. So that results in one. When a spirit realizes it's creating its vibration and it wants to see its imagination that results in a frequency individuality energy this is why snakes are so everywhere like snakes are like so cosmic in uh the importance and they're just spiritual importance of actually facilitating simulations this is the idea of the ouroboros where the snake is eating its tail yet it's eating its tail in such a way that it can keep this cycle going and that's literally actually the alchemical process of a snake turning into a tree like when you see the snake turning into an infinity and in like religious texts and all that stuff just in general the ouroboros it is about um a spirit using its serpentine energy to turn into the tree of life literally like you're you're not hearing that from anyone other than the actual man <laughs> Hermes Trismegistus and only I can bring that awareness here because that's how I've connected with the universe the whole point is I just have to communicate the wisdom that I have now into English in a way that makes sense for everyone because this world needs some sense <laughs> Woo! like this world actually really needs me like, I, I mean, no cap. Like, I haven't been fasting all these years before these mandatory shots for, like, as a coincidence. <laughs> Impossible. Nah. Nah. And we're just going to keep going. And, I mean, that is the nature of nature. It, just because you cut down a tree, what, you think it's going to stop growing? Like, just because you burn down a forest the forest is not going to come back anew like the spirits who built those structures are holding on to the memories in their souls this is the importance of knowing that you have a soul no one can take your soul from you no one no one not one person not one spirit in existence or non-existence can take your soul from you. I promise you. I hate this white supremacist world for ingraining it in all of the media and all the books, all the stories, all of everything that they create that they can suck your soul. It's their desire. That's what they want to, like that's how the Americas have been built. Them sucking the souls of indigenous peoples. And it's just what they want. They want to be able to trap your soul forever and harvest your vibration forever. They want your water to nourish them. They want to drink your blood forever. The vampires. These Twilight Vladimir Putin people. <laughs> Literally. They just 
they would love that. But just know it's impossible. Like, they can only keep sucking your soul if you keep paying attention to them. This is the wisdom of knowing that you are God and you are creating reality right now. This is why I'm very passionate about us solving climate change with this. <laughs> like, and I, I'm not like hyper, con like, this is me just naturally making this podcast and letting my spirit flow through me. So I'm observing myself communicate in ways that I would not otherwise communicate if I was speaking to anyone in my life on their level. Like I get to be in heaven actually connecting with myself. And now I get to learn way more about my spirit based on where I've been in my awareness up to this point. And I'm able to communicate from that space. So now we can learn way more about the reality that we're in because my spirit is a major player in all of the universe. Everything you can imagine in the universe, best believe they're going to call up Mercury to set up some communications at some point so that they can get connected to the grander scheme of everything. Cause it's lit. Like why, like why would we not be all connected? <laughs> like it's only natural. So this is the point of symmetry. It's our whole cosmic network. That's the point of trees 20. This is our episode. I'm synchronistically going through this. So like me having to fast 19 days, and communicate in all these ways just for the structure that I was building on TikTok to get taken is a lesson for me. It's a lesson that now I can communicate more consciously to build these episodes of the podcast. So now everyone can level up. Just the lessons of impermanence and knowing that the memories that you have from building a structure cannot be taken from you. Your spirit is holding on to all of the water that you have, all of your water in your space the only reason life matters is because you use your water to water spaces outside of yourself you project your water into earth outside of yourself so the more you put water the more you pay attention to things outside of yourself the more you give them power this is why youtube has removed the dislike button so that they can keep pushing all their coronavirus videos and keep everyone feeling like they need to pay attention to something that collectively all of us are just disliking. <laughs> like, and I, let me not even say us, all of like YouTube, like for months on months, I'm just laughing over here before YouTube removes a dislike button. And I'm like, wow, like that's how hard you really want to go with it. I'm over here laughing about how their home screen they're just constantly broadcasting new coronavirus news but then when i click on the video and look at the dislikes they just eclipse the likes like i've never seen more dislikes on videos consistently in my life than i have on these coronavirus videos and the comments are just people tearing this pandemic up like people are just intelligent now they're like yeah no they're just they're fake. They want our attention. They want to make money off of trapping us. Like people are just like in that, like everyone knows that's why this is just about communication. And it's just about all of us communicating uh, openly and freely because the people who make money off of making health problems inside of us rely on shutting down our ability to communicate so that we can only connect with them because that's the whole point of censorship. That's the point of white supremacists wanting to use their technology to censor and surveil everything and anything because they need to make sure that we're connecting with them not each other if we connect with each other we would actually build something that is uh happy harmonious and healthy for us because that's naturally what spirits do but when a government wants to make money off of what spirits naturally do that's where they're going to steal chase calloway's caduceus and alchemize our environment into a poisonous landscape that forces us to be more and more reliant on them as we create health problems that they can label as being resulted from our genetics. When no, <laughs> no, your body is not inherently flawed. Whatever problem you have, it almost certainly came from the government pumping some garbage into the environment and we can almost certainly heal it through fasting through conscious water fasting, spiritually conscious water fasting. So I'm amazed because the TikTok got taken seemingly because I'm um, endangering people by sharing my fasting journey, 
Like TikTok was taking down my videos because of minor safety. Even though I'm not advocating like, hey, you need to fast. But I am sharing, yo, I'm in the middle of my fast. This is how fasting heals the body. This is what fasting does to the body. And I'm like simply saying like, here's like, if you fast, like this is what would happen in your body, blah, 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 blah. And maybe like, that's where I shouldn't be saying something like that. Like I have to keep the way I speak uh, more T energy. I have to like literally be way, like just refer to myself and not project out so hard. Like I just ha like, I have to reflect hard on how I've been communicating so that I don't spend countless hours of my life building up a structure that's just going to get torn down. And I'm in a white supremacist world that's telling me that the only way I can make money is to connect with people who also have money and validate their system and do what they want. <laughs> and we're at the point right now where literally all currency is about social currency. Like all of us are basically supporting each other. Because clearly the 1% have 99% of the actual money in the world. Like when you think about the actual amount of money that is uh, existing in this banking system or whatever, the 1% literally have certainly set it up so that they have 99% of the wealth. And we are just never privy to the amounts of money that they have specifically set up for them to hold on to. While we're down here, communicating with each other with the 1% of money dealing with all the inflation that they want to cause and uh, just constantly being slaves and reacting to the ideas and problems that they get to create for us so now they can make music off of torturing our souls and then give us bills that want us to be ill so that we create disease inside of our bodies from being stressed out all the time from having to deal with their made-up problems and then they can be here again with Chase Calloway's Caduceus to create even more problems inside of your body once you visit the hospital and think that you're actually going to get healed by a government that appears like it cares about you. But if it actually cared about you, it would not be so rampant on spreading genocide and slavery throughout North, South and Central America and consuming everything indigenous peoples have created. Kind of impossible for a system that is only built on the genocide of indigenous peoples to care about you. That's why I voted for myself on a spiritual level. I could not vote for this country like on a spiritual level. There's the point of us learning that the like the more we pay attention to something that is when it's sucking our soul because we're actually giving our soul to it. We're actually putting our feeling we're putting our water into this structure to nurture it that's where it's whack when the TikTok is gone because i put my soul into it did i lose my soul no if anything i mean the point is that my soul is stronger and bigger and has more memory based on how it is expanded through that whole process and now even though i don't have the digital structure to represent what my soul created i can create a new one based on how I've grown and then it's kind of like Jesus living his life getting sacrificed and then rising three days from the dead because it's just the energy of when you die when you transform when you lose your structure you never lose your true essence you're only going to learn how to come back better bigger and stronger and that's the uh, essence of natural evolution as we can see, like we can look at cockroaches and bacteria and see exactly what I'm talking about. Like they're spiritual. Boom. Like that's a representation of our spiritual natures. The bug is your bee, right? Our beautiful and bodacious podcast. We're all bees, birds, bees, bugs, buzzing, being ourselves on the tree, on the symmetry, on the structure that supports our ability to connect to zero. That is why B is the second letter in the English alphabet. So paying attention to white supremacists 
of course, if they want it, if they could have it their way, they would be able to suck your soul. But your soul is the, uh, we're going to say physical because it's physical to you. Your physical life only matters because of your soul. And that's a fact. Everything in your life that you care about is something that you've paid attention to enough for it to have weight. And now it really matters to you. So now, even though there's a bunch of matter, you can look out into the world and see how there's infinite forms of matter. But your life is only constructed around the matter that you're connected to. Your life is only constructed around the things that you pay attention to. And you've thus paid attention to so much, you feel like they're relatable, real eatable. And now you're making them real eatable. And here we are developing our palates. Now we like the same foods based on how we're relating on the same spices and the same flavors in the same environment. And then that all builds up how we create families. So we just see this in all nature. It's all about all of life, all the universe. Trees, nature is all about creating connections and not just creating connections, but creating more space for other spirits to connect. This is why I'm so passionate about just naturally building simulations. My spirit is building worlds right now. We're getting other spirits connected to worlds. Mercury is constantly being built. Atlantis is constantly being built. Everything is constantly being built. That's the alchemy of life. You kind of can't actually stop building. You know, this is why I can't just give up, you know, like, this, and that's the point. That's the thing, too. I guess that's just the main wisdom of truly knowing who you are. T, the truth. The truth grows. The truth shows. Like, the truth can't get censored. The more the truth tries, uh, the more the truth is censored, or the more people try to cut the truth down, the truth just comes back stronger. That's spiritual evolution in the metaphysical plane of how we emotionally connect. Because all of us, <laughs> like, <laughs> straight up though, like all of us as spirits, all of us as consciousness, we don't see a point in connecting if it's not based on the truth. Because we're already lying by being in a body. Like, I already have to lie by acting like I'm actually Chase Clarence Calloway. So at the very least, let me bring my truth into this lie by being my authentic representation of who I am when I'm alone, which is Tehuti Hermes Trismegistus, aka symmetry. That then looks like me tripling my seed to be Chase Clarence Calloway because my body can only be a physical representation of my soul. My earth can only matter because of my feelings of being connected with myself. This is why my body vibrates, and then when I fast, my body vibrates higher, and then as Hermes, I can fly. Boom! Like, it's not hard. Like, we all do this. We can all do this. We all should be doing this. That's my point. <laughs> like, this WAC communication technology is causing climate change. We could very well be flying with our minds and having way more open forms of communication. This is how indigenous peoples across the planet used to communicate before they have all been ransacked and taken over by these violent European, white, Judeo-Christian cultures, Russian, German governments, what have you. So, this is an awesome episode. <laughs> I love this podcast. I'm learning a lot. Again, these aren't planned out. I love flowing because it's literally my soul knows so much. I have so like my soul is so gold, like it is an old gold soul. Because that's what happens at some point. Like at some point, you're not growing nature in terms of like, you know, flesh trees, like in terms of like bark or whatever, like it becomes gold. It becomes you having a gold mine. And then, I mean, that's the point of you having a planet. So you yourself are a universe. Like your soul itself is the representation of the universe and you connecting with yourself with water. And now you can use your intentions, the God that created this universe, this body of water that is your soul. Now you can send your God in here and animate into any form you want. And now you as the spirit being aware of your own space 
can observe your God animating itself into infinite forms inside of your universe. So in general, then, the point is, when you connect with yourself, you do create your own garden and you have your own tree, you have your own fruits, and the more you connect with yourself, the bigger your planet grows. This is how we as indigenous people have come together to create this planet. And this is why I'm so passionate about climate change and bringing all this spirituality to it because it's necessary. Like to me, I can't imagine anything else. So again, like this is just who I am. I can't imagine anything else. I refuse to connect on anything less. Like this whole life has been me being forced to connect on destroying the environment because that's just the wave that everyone has somehow agreed to supporting because white supremacists enjoy spreading genocide and everyone just wants to bat an eyelash because they would rather go to heaven than create their own, I guess. Like, bro, whatever. The big reason why I like getting called into new simulations is because I literally just get inspired for when I go back and am alone with myself, which is what life should be. Like, every life should be you getting inspired to be more alone with yourself so that you can build something else. Now, of course, I'm called here because, I mean, I'm building stuff here. But again, everything's impermanent. Like, all the cultures, everything that was here, Teotihuacan, all that lit stuff, impermanent. The spirits built the structures. We did what we did, and we had our time. And then different spirits come and inherit it, and then different spirits come and inherit it. And then at some point, it's not even the same vibration that the original creators had a, had uh, intended. Like, that's um, exactly Egypt. <laughs> Egypt is so old. So when we originally built Egypt, it's not at all uh, what people refer to as Egypt today. Like everything that we call Egypt today is white people's um, colonization of it. And their very limited awareness of trying to figure out the structures that were left behind from so much just history, like so much downfall, basically for lack of a better word. Like it was like, cause it's just again, so old, so old. So their conception of how great Egypt is, is hilariously limited uh, compared to when we actually made that and actually built it out of Atlantis. So I would just like to put TikTok on blast real quick because I'm over here, like, beating myself up about how I spoke about my fast and if I was too much of a snake. Because as Hermes, as you can see, I got two snakes in my caduceus with my wings and the column, the tree, the trunk, the T, the two snakes around the Tahuti trunk, toroid, Taurus <laughs> simulation, 20. And... It's cool, but I totally do prefer the tree. Like, snakes are negative. Like, the number one energy is negative. The negative thing about snakes is that when you desire to see your imagination, you're going to project. So, this is where the snake then, if a spirit inside of a body, if a spirit inside of a body is in its desires to project out its imagination, it's literally going to keep going out of its space. So that's the thing that I had to learn with Blaine. As we talked about in the last episode. Where I was going out of my space to communicate with someone who has an insane chaotic... Like, such an insanely chaotic life at the hands of being tortured by the medical industry. That I would not have actually even been able to conceive beforehand if I had not communicated with him, that I was able to gain wisdom, yeah, but also had to protect myself and peace out and learn this lesson. Because this man was literally talking about how people are in his phone, like people are constantly watching and like reading all of his texts. Sometimes I would get weird texts from him and he would say that he didn't send that. 
and I had to like use a totally different phone and like turn it off uh, whenever we were meeting because the medical industry was just <laughs> harassing him so hard. And that's <laughs> that again was all the wisdom of me being a snake going out of my space to speak with another snake. So now two of us as snakes can communicate and we're like ba basically building our own caduceus together then in terms of just connecting and building a tree because now both of our ones equal two. So that's why two snakes equal the tree. One plus one equals two. And internally what that means for you as a spirit is your masculine being one snake and your feminine being your other snake. And when you combine this together, you create a tree that allows you to communicate you, who you are, fly away into reality. So that's where the wisdom, the lesson was me having to learn, literally, the importance of not going too far out of one space. And of course, when you travel, like, I mean, you should be going like wherever you want. But the point is, as a spirit, we're talking about spiritual space. We're talking about who you're actually in resonance with. So this is where physical reality, like you can do anything, go anywhere for physical reality. You just have to make sure that you're in spiritual, emotional uh, resonance with yourself when you're traveling and making sure then that you're connecting with people who are in spiritual, emotional resonance with you. This man, despite us like being super like friendly and stuff, we are not in spiritual resonance. I am literally Tehuti Trismegistus and he's this white dude who is talking down to me no matter how much wisdom I share with him because he feels like from his 50 plus years of living and going through all this torture that he is more wise than me. Even though, again, I'm literally communicating to him like I'm communicating to you, literally. And like helping him see just like how spirits literally create life and making all the things make more sense for him. And he actually was getting my name wrong, by the way. Like even after months of us meeting, he still couldn't get my name right. So the fact is, he was fully projecting at me. And the only reason that I was connecting with him was because I was also projecting at him. But the more I connected with him, the more I started to see that he's just actually straight up projecting at me. And he just wants to feel understood. And the more I connected with him, the more I'm starting to get his vibration. And that's where the last meeting was me literally getting recorded by a person who stalked him and him making jokes about how that person gives him the vibrations of a serial killer textbook uh, violent hitman who gets paid to torture people. And then I have a meeting with my Mercurian spirits where they're like, hey, bro, um, you just need to know, <laughs> you really need to know this, by the way, that the medical industry, like the people who are hounding this man, yeah, they're also after you. So... Do with this information what you will. Like, they didn't even tell me to stop connecting with him. Literally. Like, they didn't tell me to stop. They just communicated with me and showed me naturally what's happening and what they're protecting me from and how connections are everything and how spirits are constantly creating life around us right now. This is why white supremacists, they'll get lost in that simulation stuff. They're trying to explain things from the bottom up i'm telling you just how it is everything makes sense from here and this is why blaine is awesome because he was literally tapped into this this is why like his individual journey is literally dealing with that my individual journey is not dealing <laughs> my individual journey is not dealing with that <clears throat> my individual journey is flying and communicating and fasting and educating from a higher space not being a snake on the ground level where I'm literally dealing with shit. Like he's having people in his home, like constantly like putting his clothes in bags of poop and like putting bugs in his stuff and like poisoning his washing machine fluid and like putting, like doing so many nasty, dirty things that again, he'll get his own episode because this is very pertinent. He shared with me so much important information that I have in my soul now that I can have in English. And that was the importance of us connecting, like spirits aligned it so that 
I knew that I was supposed to communicate with him despite his fuck shit, but it was after that meeting where the lesson was the longer I wait with him, the more I'm actually going to get his problems. And in reality, I would even get a bigger brunt of his problems just considering everything that I as Chase am doing with Decolonize Your Face. The braces industry surely would love to work through that man and his vibration to be able to attack me and stop me from being able to communicate about how braces actually destroy your body and how all this orthodontic stuff is completely backwards and highly expensive just to create more problems inside of you and how we can naturally reverse it with our bodies. That's everything I'm here teaching with Chase Your Genes and you popping into All Descending Academy. This is why symmetry has teeth on its mask. This, like literally, I like way before I was tapped into Mercury, tapped into my own simulation back in my spaces, I made symmetry with teeth on the mask just because subconsciously teeth are so important to me so this is the t here we are st ability what is your true st ability your t is your teeth your truth you can't speak without your teeth your ability to build a tree your ability to grow through communication is dictated by your teeth this is why animals teeth are so important we see in nature it, like forever always teeth are important like that man complimented my see my teeth a few too many times so it was clearly like a point of just lesson i mean the fact that he opened up the communication with um <laughs> your shoes are like spider-man honestly he could have been sent as a plant low-key but i didn't feel like that it really did feel like he's organically someone who's actually dealing with the very whack fuck shit, basically, of the medical industry. I don't really like cursing. I try not to curse. Um, <laughs> just because, especially after the TikTok thing, uh, I had to really reflect on my communications with all the spirits when we were talking about the importance of children and think about, yeah, just that like how I'm communicating to children even though of course Donald Trump just won the presidency so it's like we sh we should be able to communicate however we want based on the bar that has been politically set <laughs> like what <laughs> Donald Trump has been our president and like we're supposed to be censored and stuff and not we can't speak freely like that's impossible that man literally says whatever he wants whenever he wants he will contradict himself in two videos on the same exact day and still get paid to sponsor the genocide of indigenous peoples by having you enslaved on the banking system so trees and teeth this is the T of the symmetry. The T of the symmetry is all about trees and teeth. Time. How do you use your ability to communicate to build a structure that allows you to cycle through time, to cycle through your emotions, to cycle through the way that you connect with others in a way that makes sense? This is what 20, this is what T is all about. This is what your teeth are all about. Because your teeth are what you use to communicate, consume, and create your life. If you did not have teeth, you would not be able to eat food, you would not be able to speak to others, and thus you would actually not really be able to build a life effectively. This is why teeth are so important, and British people are so obsessed with, <laughs> I mean, dentures and getting replacement teeth because their industrial revolution lifestyle has messed up their bones their oral hygiene to the 19th 300th degree <laughs> and now we're all dealing with it because everyone's living a british lifestyle like if anyone has colonized the world with the banking system and thus 
their idea of how we should consume life, literally, it's the British people. That's the point. We, and they're very proud of it. We can Google and see all that. The Rothschild family owning all the central banks that they purposefully infiltrate into lands through their snake-like ways. For sure. It's all here. I mean, we have the information because, again, the whole point of us communicating and being alive is that it has to be built on the truth. Like, we can't just be here living a lie. <laughs> Like, it's bad enough we're in the body and not um, corporeal expressions of our minds so that now we just, like, are infinite light. Like, it's bad enough we are physically in these light bodies and, like, confined to these certain rules that I don't feel like this expresses me, okay? So, with, for all the people who are like, oh, Thoth, if you're actually Hermes, you would be able to use superpowers and do this and that and correct the world. Like, okay, for sure. And you know what? I want to do that for you and I'll use my ability to communicate to work on that for sure for you to want me to do it instantly with superpowers and like fire alchemical processes that project my imagination into this reality in a way that is unrelatable that is an expression of your desire to have someone save you and that's just more of the white supremacist energy that we've been put into as far as being disconnected from ourselves and then feeling like we need to be saved. And now everyone's projecting how you need to be saved. Like, bro, I don't need to be saved from anything. Like, I'm, it's gonna be so fun, honestly. It'll be hilarious. <laughs> A part of me will be annoyed, but it'll be fun and hilarious to deal with all the constant Christians and religious people who will only project onto me that I'm part of their God but until I realize that I'm part of their God, I'm a demon. <laughs> so now they can tell me I'm a demon because I'm not part of their system. So now they can do all the evil things that their system says not to do to me because I'm not actually a human. Wow. And we can see based on how I break down the building blocks of life, literally how religions build their humanity off of consuming demons. But you have to create demons to consume demons. So for Christians, indigenous peoples are demons because we are literally the gods that they need to exist. They need to consume the nature that we create from going inward. But the only way they can justify consuming us and cannibalizing our, our flesh is by demonizing how we create nature. So they need our nature. They need to take over our lands. They need to take over our bodies. They need to take over our minds. But they need to somehow feel like they're justified in doing that. So the only way they can create this justification, just usification, is by saying that we are everything that they are. <laughs> and this is why projection being perception is the ultimate lesson in all of life and reality. 